Hello everyone! Okay, so I did a video where I shared my 23andMe Ancestry DNA results. Well, I got an email today and 23andMe added, let me read it, 13 new populations to their Ancestry Composition Report and they emailed me because my Ancestry DNA report was affected and updated. So I pulled up my old um, DNA breakdown, my um, Ancestry DNA breakdown and the new one. And I wanted to share with you um, some of those changes that they put on there. Okay, so before the old one, um, it says I am 89.8% East Asian and Native American, 9.3% European, 0.3% South Asian and 0.2% Sub-Saharan African and 0.4% unassigned, which means they don't know. Okay, so um, Ancestry, they update their database um, when more and more people uh, get their Ancestry DNA done because then they have more information. So what I did in the description below is I included a referral link um, that you can use and I think you get maybe 10% off um, if you do your um, Ancestry DNA through 23andMe and I think I get something too. <laughs> but what I like about it is the more of us that do this and add to the database, the more information um, they have and the more inform information we have okay so uh, the new report um, there are some differences like quite a bit of differences okay I am now 89.6 percent East Asian and Native American so in the old report I was 89.8 percent now I am 89.6 it's just a little bit less just weird I am 9.6 European when in the old report I was 9.3 now I guess I'm a little bit more um, but I have uh, I do have a theory on that and that is the uh, Iberian which is Portugal and Spain is classified under European and the Spanish colonized the Philippines for like 500 years so it's really hard for Filipinos um, to not have some Spanish blood uh, so, and so that's why I think um, I have a little bit more European blood in me now in in this new report okay in the new report I am 0.3% sub-Saharan African and 0.5% unassigned, which is actually 0.1% higher than the old report. And then in this new report, it doesn't say that I am um, South Asian. I'm no longer South Asian, I guess. <laughs> but okay, so in this new report, what I love about it is now under East Asian and Native American, they included Filipino and Austronesian. I'm so happy about that, that um, I am 82.5% Filipino and Austronesian. Like I didn't know that before, but <laughs> you know, I'm glad that now it's included um, in their databases. Now it's, it's in there that we can say, hey, you know, Filipino, yes. Um, so what is Austronesian? It says, most Filipinos can trace their ancestry to a migration of seafarers. Today, this genetic signature called Austronesian is found from Hawaii to Madagascar. Awesome. Um, so, I am 82.5% Filipino and Austronesian. 6.3% broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian. 0.1% broadly, broadly Northern Asian and Native American and 0.6% East Asian and Native American. Here's what I'm a little sad about. In the old report, I am just less than 0.1% Japanese and in the new report, that's gone. Yeah, that's gone. Okay, in this new report under the 9.6% European, 
I am 1.5% British and Irish, which jumped up from the old report. I am 0.5% French and German, which is new. It was not in the new report. Um, I mean, it wasn't in the old report. And it was something that um, caught my eye because um, family lore is that we have German blood, um, German ancestors. And in this new report, hey, I do. I am also 4.9% broadly Northwestern European. Um, and that is people from Ireland, Norway, Finland, France. 0.9% um, broadly Southern European and 1.8% broadly European. And broadly Southern European includes Iberian, um, which is uh, Portugal and Spain. Okay, guys, this is the cool part, okay? I am 0.3% Sub-Saharan African. In the old report, it just says broadly Sub-Saharan African, um, but now they got a little bit more specific. And I am 0.2% Southern East African, which is, says, the description says, um, within the last 3,000 years, metallurgy I don't know how to say that but I think it's working with metals and agriculture arrived in southern East Africa with the migration of Bantu speaking peoples from Nigeria and Cameroon and then so that's 0.2% and then I am 0.1% broadly Congolese and southern East African Isn't that cool that they got a little bit more specific so that's that's kind of awesome um, yeah so I'm going to put a referral link below if you guys want to do, um, figure out your ancestry DNA. Uh, this is through 23andMe and what I like is that they update it and then um, you can also participate in a lot of their surveys which adds to their research um, data. And then, um, yeah, so if their database expands and they add more um, classifications and uh, populations then your report um, gets updated and you get a little bit more specific which is awesome so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it um, and I'm gonna put a picture of the DNA breakdown uh, on my blog in AnnaAngela.com so I'm gonna put links down below but thanks for watching and I hope you guys figure out and do your own DNA ancestry <laughs> bye